All right, seventh graders, this is to help you with question six on CR number eight. It says to simplify, and then within parentheses, you have negative four divided by one half. Then outside the parentheses, it says divided by negative eight. All right, we must work within parentheses first and get a single value. So if you have negative four divided by one half, and then that answer divided by eight, I'm gonna work within parentheses first. So you probably have a little saying to remind yourself about division. You probably say skip, flip, multiply, drop, change, change. I don't know what little saying your sixth grade teachers taught you. But this would be negative four over one divided by one half is the same as times two over one. And I still have divided by eight on the outside. Well, these are both over one, so I don't even have to consider that. Negative four times two, this would be negative eight divided by eight. Now at this point, you just have to know negative divided by a positive. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. Eight divided by eight is one. So my final answer would be negative one. If you wanna show that how many halves, if you take four and divide it into halves, how many halves would you have? If you had four whole circles, I just want to show you why this turns out to be eight. Let's pretend you had four whole circles and you divided those circles into halves. So I'm going to divide that first circle into halves, that next circle into halves, that next circle into halves, and that last circle into halves. Well, how many halves do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why four divided by one half is eight. And then you know a negative divided by a positive is a negative. But if you need a visual, if you can't see four divided into halves, that you'll have eight halves, hopefully that visual helps you see that. Get a single value within the parentheses and then do that last division. I hope that helps.